<laughs> this is my first tutorial. This is uh, I'm starting a new series. This is the very first one. I'm doing it outside because I'm weird. I'm a weird guy, all right? I'm a daily vlogger, but I've done 274 daily vlogs in a row, and I just, I've learned some stuff. It is interesting that this is an audio tutorial, and there's a bunch of reverb from these brick walls. Anyway, let's get to the tutorial. Quick and dirty. Quick and dirty because when you're daily vlogging, you need things to work right, efficiently, fast, like you needed to get them done, right? Let me teach you how I do audio. I used to spend hours, hours trying to mix audio and like make it sound good. I do it in about five minutes on every vlog now. It isn't perfect, there's flaws, that's why it's called quick and dirty. It gets the job done, it gets your story out there so you can move on to the next thing. Uh, maybe I'll do an advanced one in the future. Let me know if you want that, and let's get this thing. Vlog is finished, all right? And I got all my audio, everything's lined up. It's not a super complex vlog, so let me just first just show you what this sounds like. If you need to take a call, best way to do it is just like mobbing these trails on the phone, like most focused. You can see the levels are peaking, like, you know, everything's crazy. You can't really hear me. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. This is where we start. Select all these things, make a new compound clip. Boom, right click, new compound clip. Doesn't matter what it's called. Okay, now the whole thing is just in one track, right? Then, next thing we're gonna do, bam, go up here to volume, click it, hit negative 13, all right? Now everything in the track is negative 13. Let's go ahead and make another new compound clip. All right, right click, new compound clip. Boom, okay, now look, everything's back at zero. See that, see that? All right, now what we're gonna do is go through in ranges. Anytime there is a space where there's no talking, where the music isn't conflicting with me speaking and I just want there to be loud music like just that you can feel like in your heart, you know, getting pumped, then I'm gonna select a range and drag that the whole way back up to positive 12 decibels, all right? And for whatever reason, Final Cut allows you to do this without jacking up the audio. Thank you, motorcycle. Cool, audio, love it. So I zoomed in here, and this is my first non-speaking part. I hit the R button for range. Then, where I stop speaking, right here you can see I stop speaking right there. I select from right there, and then drag it over the whole way until I start speaking again. Like into where I start speaking, drag that clip the whole way up to positive 12 decibels. You see Final Cut does this little in and out thing. I generally like things to go a lot faster than whatever the default is, like it lengthens it. I wish you could set like, you know, a third of a second. That's how fast I want these keyframes to jump, but whatever, I gotta drag that in so that it's the whole way up by the time my B-roll starts playing. That's the way I like to do it. Okay, same thing with this. I want it to be the whole, oop, hit the A key so I can just adjust this one without adjusting the whole thing. I want it to be the whole way done by the time I start um, speaking, and I like it to dip like after I start speaking. I don't like when the music leads to the idea that I'm gonna start speaking soon. I wanna keep it a surprise whenever I'm gonna talk. Then I go to the next one. I'm gonna do this for every single non-speaking part in this vlog. So again, hit the R key, select the range that I want it to jump up at, and slide that up to 12 decibels. Just hang with me here, hang with me. There's a trick coming at the end that you're gonna be like, how the hell did you do that? Come on. All right, so let's get the whole way through this. I'm gonna skip that, but I'm going the whole way through this thing. Every range is selected. I jumped up the audio every time that I want it to, um, to actually come up and, and fill the space so that there's not just like this really quiet music when you should just only be listening to music. That's all done. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I go to my last speaking clip, or any clip really, another car, let's see if they can make it around me. This is fun, it makes it more exciting, it's like a thrilling thing. Okay, drag the limiter in Final Cut over to uh, that speaking clip. Select a clip, go over here into the audio settings, scroll down to the limiter, you see that? Click on the controls of the limiter, and bam, just jack the gain up to like seven or seven and a half. I normally do seven and a half. So that pushes everything way up. Command C on that, then select every other audio clip in your timeline. So shift, click, that's gonna select everything that's kind of like on that plane. 
What's this? That's the water? Yeah, I need that audio because I talk in that. Zoom back out, make sure I got everything. It's all there. Command Shift V brings up um, the paste attributes thing and effects limiter is selected. That's the only thing that's selected. Hit paste. Bam, that's pacing. That just jacked all that audio the whole way up. Now what you're probably thinking is, Cody, that's gonna be peaking like crazy, like it's conflicting with your music, all that stuff. That reminds me, I gotta take away 1200 hertz. Um, I'll do that in a second. It's not an issue because of the way Final Cut handles audio. Let's go to, first let's just go into our soundtrack. And then here on equalization, click on the audio equalization thing. Bring that from 10 bands to 31. Then just go right over here to 1200, which is 1200 is where human voice generally is. And bring, dip that down, dip those down around it, make it a little bit of a smooth thing. Now that just took every frequency that conflicts with my human voice, it just took that out of the, took that out of the mix, all right? So it muffles the track a little bit, but at least people are gonna be able to hear you and that's what you want. If you don't have singing in your track, you don't have to worry about that 1200 hertz thing, like leave all the hertz in there. It's only if there's vocals in your soundtrack that you wanna do something like that. All right, we're at the very final step. Hit Command A. So you apply the limiter, you, uh, you, uh, you selected the ranges, everything is done. Command A, you get everything into a new compound clip. I use compound clips a lot, all right? Bam, doesn't matter what the name is. Last step, apply a limiter to that entire thing, all right? The way Final Cut handles and processes audio is now it's gonna choose to not allow anything to ever peak. That's how a limiter works. So if we listen to this now, if you need to take a call, best way to do it is just like mobbing these trails. Nothing's peaking. On the phone, like most focused consultation I've ever had in my life. Boom. Simple as that. What do you think? Quick and dirty, all right? Then you export it, you're good to go. Quick and dirty, that's how you get it done. It took, it takes me, how long have I been doing this? I think that was seven minutes. Like I used to spend hours doing that. This gets the message across. Yeah, is it perfect? No, I can get it more advanced like for any time that things don't like sound right or whatever, I can do that later. But this is quick and dirty. Quick and dirty tips, tricks, and tutorials. Something I'm gonna do every week. Please hit subscribe if you like it. I normally do daily vlogs, so you have to like me. Only subscribe if you like me. If you like the tutorial, just like come back here occasionally and watch the tutorials. But if you like me, I'm like tracking my whole thing. There's a bunch of stuff, stories that happened this year. Like I said, I'm day 272. Let's get this thing, all right? Thanks for being here. All right, so I'm just listening to it back. I'm inside now and it's still competing a little bit too much. If that happens to you, just go into your compound clip and all these ones that are down, like that's where all the talking is, you, it's harder. So what you can do is you can come down here to the clip size and drag the clip size up because that makes it easier to adjust up and down. This is one of the things that always took the most time is like me having to click and drag to the right space. Then you can just drag this down to like negative two, drag this one down to negative two. Do that for every single one of your down jumps and then that's gonna make it conflict even less if you need more separation between voice and track, all right? That's actually a little bit more advanced. So normally I don't have to do that, but for whatever reason these songs are competing too much. So I'm doing that to fix it. You got like three, you got three things going on here. I'm amped for you. I just realized that today's Tuesday and Peter releases his tutorials on Tuesday. That was not on purpose. I'm not gonna do it every, every Tuesday. It's gonna just be like weekly. But uh, yeah, tutorial Tuesday, let's get this thing.